my God! Okay, it's happening. Everybody stay calm. What's, What's the procedure, everyone? Calm. What's the procedure? Stay calm! Wait, 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 wait. Everybody wait. calm down! Hey guys, Ben here and welcome back to another video. So today we got some amazing new news to talk about. So this was just released earlier today. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so as you know, last year we got the official announcement mon -El is not coming back. But they said as a series regular. So we've just got the amazing new leak that According to Canada Graphs and some various other sources, including YVR Shoots, they've been able to get set photos of Chris Wood back on set. And it seems like he's in a new mon suit, and we're going to be talking about that today. I'm so excited. So let me know if you are in the comments down below. Without further ado, let's get right ahead into this. So we've got some various leaked set photos to go over, and this is for, I believe it's Season 4, Episode... 20 or 21. I know the season finale is 22 because normally they do 23 episodes But this season they're cutting down and I believe in season one they did 22 But I think last season because or maybe the season before because they were on the CW They added it to 23 because that's what normally Arrow and the Flash does but the Flash is cutting down this year as well But we've got these set photos and so I believe it's from around that time when they are shooting so Various scenes were shot over the past few days and they've just released the photos so you know there's various different looks of how the characters are and some of the scenes were shot at night, some was shot in day, but it looks like Chris is finally returning. So we see this first set photo as you can see on the screen right now and you can't really see him but he's right in the background and it's all blurred out because the photographer was far away using a probably a zoom in lens or something like that. And we see Melissa, she's really happy, she's in her Supergirl wear, you know, wearing her coat because, you know, it's just the end of March. So, you know, in, at least in England, it's still really cold. So I'm guessing it is in Vancouver because it's pretty far north as well. So she's, you know, all up in her Supergirl gear. They're shooting on set and in the background, you can see Chris Wood as mon -El. He's in the background, he's there, he's in his superhero suit. We can't really make out you know, if the superhero suit is exactly the same, but he looks exactly the same. And it seems like Melissa's very happy to have him around on set, because obviously you know the news recently that they officially got engaged, which is really exciting, because, you know, they've been together for over a year, like, I don't know, a year and a bit now, I guess. But some people were lucky enough to actually meet Chris when Melissa was on Broadway, and I got to see her on Broadway, which was like the best experience ever, like in my life, no kidding. It was a birthday present to go to New York, and it was the best thing to see beautiful, but some lucky people saw Chris there, and you know, so that's just linking it back into what's going on with them too right now. But then we go on and we see these next set photos, so this is again, on the set, she's got her coat on, so I believe this was shot around the same time, this photo. And you see mon -El, and he's got a new suit. He's got a new iteration. It seems to be a bit brighter. It seems to be a bit different. And you actually see Chris in frame. And this superhero suit is, a, I guess, a bit more comic book accurate. You see his belt. And I guess what he, compared to what he was wearing in the past season, it seems to be a you know, a bit more spiced up, a bit more kind of, I guess a bit more like Shazam maybe in terms of like how the new superhero suit looks. I guess they're going for a brighter color scheme and you see the yellows on there as well. And I'm just really excited. And it seems like Melissa's really excited. So Chris is just standing around and Melissa's there as well, but she's, you know, wrapped up, but he's probably warm in that new superhero suit. So I'm just super excited. This looks amazing and yeah, so let's move on to the next set photo, and so this is one of the last set photos that were actually taken when Chris has been shooting, you know, on set recently. So, this was actually a later scene when they were shooting at night, and it was this scene with Melissa and Chris, and you see she's in her superhero costume, she's in Supergirl, 
but he is in his normal sort of Mike Matthews normal gear and you see a guy behind him obviously one of the crew members so this was taken behind the scenes and it seems to be like they're waiting around so Melissa's got her hands on her hips and she's looking down and so maybe they're just really tired well it seems like Melissa is quite tired because you know it is in the middle of the night when this was taken and Chris is there I guess he's getting ready for a scene because he's doing this hand action you know his hands in his pocket so maybe he's like reading out his lines or something but I don't know as to how Monel is going to return I'm not sure I think it's probably going to link into maybe Wynn coming back but I know Wynn's not coming back till next season so I think it's probably going to link into the idea that he's probably going to visit because if you remember at the end of last season we had the ending scene when they had to split off and he had to go to the future and become a hero and she had to stay in the past and so maybe they are finally sort of bringing it back and I have to reiterate this is not a regular role I think this is probably just a guest appearance maybe he will appear a few more times in a recurring role but they for certain said at the end of the last season that he wasn't returning for this season as a regular so he's returning in this little small role and I'm just beyond excited to see this and it seems like he's probably just going to be visiting this episode with this new superhero suit in the future because we don't know how long he's been in the future with Wynn, like maybe when Wynn actually returns next season along with one out this season and supposedly we have Imra returning because Amy Jackson said something about that recently but we don't know how long he's been in the future for because as you remember last season it was revealed that Monel, although it was seven months to us it was seven months to Supergirl he was in the future for seven years so he could have been there for 20 more years but obviously he looks the same so I'm guessing it's probably like you know normal time that being like I guess like seven eight months or it's actually you know shorter time or you know way longer like I guess like two years or something like that but he's got a new suit nevertheless and it seems to be a bit more bright so maybe they've defeated Brainiac in the future the evil version of Brainiac and maybe this is him coming back to the past number one to see Supergirl but number two to see Brainy and to tell him about their victory in the future so that's probably leads to Wynn coming back but maybe Wynn has to figure some stuff out in the future before he can come back and so I'm looking forward to that a lot but going into theory mode I think that with Mono returning and potentially with him returning next season I would hazard the guess that maybe they're trying to rekindle the Kara and Mono relationship that they left it that they left off with sorry because there was really really that spark that last moment that they sort of left off in this cliffhanger and then announced oh he's not coming back so why would they do that it is a bit silly and seeming that Mono is actually coming back now there would be no reason not to do that because they've actually held off on giving Kara a new love interest or any type of interest at all like not even at all there's been like no flirting or anything so it seems like it's all been leading back to this so whether or not you know he sorted out his stuff with Saturn Girl in the future if he has like the permission to come back and you know properly be with Kara maybe next season I don't know obviously we'll find out when he returns but for the meantime we can just sort of theorize and I think they will bring him back together with Kara because you know it's destined and it's been you know so long like wow like since the end of season two so and I wonder when he comes back will he sort of talk about the future will he bring back some Legion members like he did at the start of season three obviously we didn't know back then that he was a Legionnaire but we eventually found out by the time of episode 10 I believe or maybe he mentioned it a bit before but it seems like maybe he will bring some of those people that have been referenced via Brainiac maybe we'll see a future version of Nia's descendant in the future or ascendant I don't know what to call it but anyway a future relative of Nia maybe they will actually bring her that's actually Dreamer in the comics so I think they can link it all back together to how one was returning and obviously him potentially coming back next season but the final set photo that I want to talk about was this and it's a set photo of Monel on the set of Greece and he's doing the hand drive and everything so I'm just really looking forward to this Greece episode as well so they're gonna tie this in as well towards the end of the episode where 
Kara and Monau are going to be visiting and time traveling back to when they were shooting Greece and they were doing the hand drive. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new. And I will see you guys later. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. It was just a fun laugh for me just to ramble on, you know, digging deep into my inside hatred for them actually sending one hour away because really he has to come back. So sorry for screwing with you guys. I just really want one hour back and I hope this comes true. But anyway, so in the meantime, I'll leave you with one hour doing the hand jive on the set of Greece and we will see you guys later. Goodbye.